My next guest is one of my favorite authors. Please welcome back to The Late Show, George Saunders. What's it like to live inside the head of George Saunders? Oh, it's no picnic. It's No, I, I have a really busy mind, for sure, you know? So uh, one of the reasons I like being a writer, and I guess a teacher, is that, that in that job, it's an asset. I learned a hard lesson many years ago, which is I can't really plan a story. We start an artistic problem or project. We kind of think we know what we're doing. We think we know what it's about. And the key moment is when we realize that we don't and that the story has something to tell us that we don't know yet. You have to let go of your own concepts about the thing you're doing. In a weird way, it's almost a, a way of thinking about life to me now that you don't have to have all the answers. I was a student at Syracuse University back in the 80s. At that time, I was uh, working as a groundsman in Texas, uh, was the least likely person to get into a master's program. But the faculty at that time saw something. Uh, they kind of went to the mat for me, uh, got me a university fellowship. Um, so I, I will never forget that. Because I showed up and said I was a writer, they assumed I was. And they treated me with that respect. Syracuse University is a place that understands that talent can appear anywhere and maybe even recognizes that talent that comes from an unusual direction might be especially potent. So I try to continue that in my teaching. I see my work as a teacher as being first and foremost to encourage openness and curiosity. These students are already wonderful. The trick is to try to encourage them to be sort of radically themselves. You know, the stories and the, the books will fade probably, you know, the odds are. But when you're in a class uh, full of people, there's a kind of electricity in the room and you know that those kids are gonna take that with them to the rest of their lives. I have a feeling that, you know, as the years pass, that part of my life will, will loom even larger because it's, it's a precious gift to be put in a position where you can influence, uh, you know, the next generation. It's really a lovely thing to do.